And in fact, I need to think about what I'd like to do. We could go for a faster run and try and get through it almost in its entirely, even with a bit of a shorter stream today. Or we could go back to Nemlek's choice here and see what other combinations might be kind of interesting. Former said Berserker is kind of funny. You don't get to take advantage of the Berserk side of being a Berserker, but you still have Trog's hand, you still have Brother in Arms, and Formicids are pretty decent characters to play as. They take a little bit of interesting um, play in order to pilot, just because without the ability to speed yourself up or teleport around, you're definitely fairly limited in a lot of your options. But if you can get rolling early on and have a really strong two-handed weapon in one hand and a huge shield in the other, you can definitely make it through the dungeon in fairly short order. And your ability to dig into walls is a huge advantage as well, because you can pretty much in any area, besides some uh, specific exclusions, you can always create your own little corridors that are completely... Um, out of sight from everyone except for the one enemy in front of you, which is super helpful in a whole lot of circumstances, whether that be pole arms, smite targeted enemies, you name it. So let's maybe even just jump in with that. It'll be a quick one regardless. Either we'll get through in short order or we'll run ourselves into the ground quickly without our ability to use some of the more usual escape techniques. Let's try it out, shall we? Ormacid Berserker here, and it leaves us open to use any type of weapon that we'd like. Hmm. Do you like axes a lot of time? Maybe we'll go with spheres and go with like a really nice, um, whatchamacallit, Bardiche or something in hand. It's tough. I'm trying to think of what some of the best two-handed weapons in class are for these. An Executioner's Axe is always nice. Getting like a a triple sword or a great sword works out pretty well for a long blades run or for spears. Yeah, it's mostly going to be bardiches and the like. Hmm. I may have talked myself out of sphere just thinking about some of the other options here because I really do like some of the two handed axes and some of the two handed swords that we can run into. So since it's a bit more guaranteed to show up in certain areas of the game, specifically the axes, getting like a nice uh, enchanted two-handed axe is pretty easy once you get to the depth side of the game because a lot of the frost giants and fire giants are going to be carrying those bad boys. But we don't get the cleave with axes and that's why it's not quite as advantageous as it otherwise might be. Specifically, we don't get the cleave if I'm digging myself into a wall like a good ant buddy should. So you know what? Maybe let's go with swords. Let's try that out, shall we? Turn it on to manual here. I forget that that's automatic now with our RC file changes. Going to start training long blades right away. And let's also quickly go through some of our auto pickup shenanigans here. Then we'll be just about ready to go. Let's start our journey. It's also not bad being able to tell where enemies might be around the corner, especially for certain parts of the game. If you get banished to the abyss early, you can definitely find your way out without having to fight each and every single enemy that you might uh, run across. Also, I th think I'm lagging out here, but I'm worried about pressing more buttons. Oh, no, apparently I must have all tabbed by accident somehow. Hope for an early white pack and decide then. That is true. We can always definitely switch out what weapon we're doing. You got to be open to pivoting in the game because you never know what the dungeon is going to hand off to you. Here we go. Do the first couple fights in short order at the very least. Cause enough noise in order to call some attention to us and bring some enemies our way, but feeling pretty good about taking them all on. Also have a new appreciation of dart slugs ever since I learned about what they may or may not be alluding to. That being the, uh, the way that most slug and snail creatures mate. If you want to look it up, it's Love Dart on Wikipedia. Absolutely fascinating stuff as long as you're not weirded out by how different strange animals mate and procreate. But anyway. Let's stop talking about snail sex and get going in the dungeon here, shall we? 
Definitely would like to find a shield as soon as possible and start getting that training up, because that is a huge part of the advantages that we get as a Formicid here. And I am kind of excited to play as a bit more of a, a straightforward sword and board kind of character. I've been playing a lot of casters recently, and well, definitely they have a lot of tools at their disposal for dealing with different monsters in creative ways. At the other side of it, the low defensive capabilities of all those characters has come back to bite me in the butt, especially when I'm not paying nearly as close attention as I probably should be. And speaking of not paying close enough attention, I should really be picking up some better armor here and putting that on right away. No reason to keep walking around in an animal skin. Let's get going. And again, we're not really going to be able to do a whole lot here right at the start involving our god Trog, just because Berserking is not on the menu. But once we get Trog's hand, that's where we'll start to shine a little bit more and actually get to take advantage of our god-given rights. Here's to a pretty lucky start so far, definitely not too bad. Able to tab our way through most of the early dungeon here as long as we're not expecting or we're not running into any too out of depth monsters early on. You know, I thought someone might come through the door and in fact they did eventually so I'm glad with the decisions we made there. Wanted to make sure to not get caught up in what looks like a hallway but definitely has that opening on one end. And we should also pick up this cloak right away. Make sure we're getting each and every AC point right at the start here. I'd love to run into an early set of plate mail, but that's definitely getting a little bit greedy. And we'll be happy with whatever we find in the early part of the dungeon, at least. Early white pack would be quite nice, as long as it's not too early. We can get a really great enchanted weapon out of the whole deal. Maybe a nice halberd or something. And that would make it worth it to switch to pole arms for sure. Though I guess there's still almost equal opportunity of finding ourselves with a, uh, a two-handed sword, so that wouldn't be too shabby either. So on that willpower ring right away. Oh, hello, Natasha. I don't want to kill you. Let's bring you up here. You kind of want to kill this kobold, but that's fine. We'll get the heck out of there. Have to hop down to a different stairway that's not going to be that far away, so we want to be careful if I'm trying to avoid killing Natasha. I'm going to just do some little sneaky sneaky. Sneaky sneaky. Maybe even I can just keep going down here. That'd be kind of nice. Perfect. Poor Natasha. Gotta leave her alive for the time being and then see maybe on the way up she'll want to join us on our way out and become our pet instead. That'd be nice. Okay, let's go back to auto-exploring while still being careful to halt our progress at any given moment in case things start to get a little too close to where we left those bad boys. We are getting Pretty close on the other hand to being able to just forego the rest of the level here and skip it for the time being. With a lot of characters you're getting screwed over quite a bit if you're dropping out on early experience but as a pretty tough fighter based background like this shouldn't have too much trouble with a little bit of lost experience early on depending of course on out of depth monsters and all that good stuff but have to see how the game treats us here. And again, just being very careful to do some manual exploring, which honestly I don't do enough. It feels kind of satisfying to go through the dungeon like this. You are not Natasha, that's good. That could be Natasha down there. She was next to a kobold. In fact, there she is, but I still wanted the scale armor. So I'll grab that, we'll head back upstairs, back to the same stairway. I think I'm just about done with that floor, so we'll switch over to our slightly better armor. And let's just head downstairs, shall we? Shouldn't run into anything too, too scary. At least not right away. As long as we're lucky. And 
onwards we go. Okay. First snakes are always a little bit scary, but if we just instantly delete it in one turn, I guess that's not the case whatsoever. What are our odds of hitting you? Do 58% chance to evade us. Okay, so we did get fairly lucky, but should be able to get through it in one piece once more here. And hello, Philfink. Hope you're having a great day. Nice to see you. Let's just keep it moving here. Okay, Grinder is actually way better than usual when we find her, just because we actually have some extremely early willpower. Oh right, and we're immune to Paralyze anyway. The stasis effect of a Formicid can be a negative, but it can also definitely come in handy against certain enemies at the very least. There we go, Grinder is next to us. We have no evocables. We do have a couple throwing nets, so that might be a nice um, solution here. Should have also put on this Ring of Dexterity. In fact, I might just put that on now. It only takes half a turn anyway. But let's switch over to throwing nets here. Just throw that right at Grinder and then try and take her out. Ooh, dang it. It's hoping for a little bit more haste on that. Hmm, we're down to 10 health, eh? Oh, here, Water Moxin Skeleton. I got misled by how uh, squishy the skeleton figures look. Let's maybe go away from areas where we see enemies. Yeah, it cannot be paralyzed. Nice try, Grinder. At the end of the day here, if we think we're going to die, we could definitely just shaft ourselves down and ideally not have too many issues down below, especially endoplasm doesn't do a lot of damage. So I guess that hand we could try and Stay here. Oops, accidentally reposted against that. Also very sorry to hear the other cult bill think, especially in these times it can definitely suck when you don't know if it's just a, a regular cult or worse. But hope you recover quickly, for sure, to say the least. Also want to do some of ye old pillar dancing here. Dang it, I definitely should have headed to the right there. That was my mistake. At the end of the day, we'll just take the big loop. Yeah, you were vaccinated, so just a cold. Should be, yeah. But yes, hope regardless that you recover right away, because being sick always sucks regardless. I know, and that's the thing, it's not even necessarily that it might be worse, because I, yeah, if you're fully vaccinated, pretty low odds of anything like that, fortunately, but I know for myself, I hate being sick at all right now, just for social stigma. I was on a plane a while ago, coming back home from up north, and I wasn't even sick. I just choked on my own spit. And so I was trying to like clear the, the saliva from my throat, but I also didn't want to start hacking up a lung on a plane and make everyone around me feel exceptionally uncomfortable. So I instead just like awkwardly was doing these weird like half laugh chest compressions, just trying to fix it without causing too much of a hubbub or concerning anyone. I definitely get uh, hyper paranoid about yeah awkward situations and making people feel uncomfortable. Okay, nice. Easily able to take out Robin early on here, and then we can just slice our way through the rest of our pack, probably with not too many problems. Definitely a little bit awkward, Bill, think. Yeah. My partner thought I was just laughing beside her. Which it means it was successful, my attempts to not make it sound like I was coughing while I was slowly but surely choking to death. Fortunately, it all went well in the end. Still alive at the very least. Didn't manage to get myself killed just for the the chance to avoid any little bit of awkwardness. Any day I don't choke myself to death on my own spit is a good day in my books, to say the least. Let's see, do I want to fight Sigmund here? We could Trog's hand for some extra willpower in order to avoid the confuse effect, but then even the regeneration might allow us to chunk through the spellcaster buddy decently quickly. You know, we're early in the run. Let's let's go for it, shall we? In fact, I should let him open the door. Oh my gosh, Grinder's there too. Never mind. We will Trog's hand in order to not get confused, but then I'm gonna just get the heck out of there. 
Did not want to fight both of these bad boys at once, though one didn't seem quite so bad. There we go. Trog's hand is starting to fade. I guess maybe I should even go for it. Do I have any solutions if things do go sour? I haven't really identified anything. I have one throwing net that we could try and put to good use. It's probably not worth it though. Like, let's close doors behind us just to put another little barrier between us. Don't confuse me, please, sir. Don't confuse me. And in fact, let's just bring you two here. We can head up the stairs, head over to another stairway here, and just try and avoid those sons of guns. We'll pop down this way. We will come back for them at another date. Keep her moving here. I was excited to potentially just try and fight one of them because those early uniques are a pretty great source of experience at the very least, but that's all fine and dandy. I haven't had to give up on too many floors yet overall, so we should be fine in that regard. Yes, have I left any long swords around? I can look up long blade here. No, just the falchion that we're we're currently carrying, so that's okay. And let us keep it going. Jeez, that's a lot of misses against an adder, but fortunately not uh, getting any uh, poison placed upon us, and that's all we can ask for at this stage. Always fun when you manage to level like three times by killing one. Exactly. So satisfying each and every time, for sure. Ooh. It's a, might be a nice enchanted Mornstar. I guess anti magic. Not that nice. We'll probably have a billion different weapons with that brand by the end of things if Trog has anything to say about it. But that's fine. Just tab our way through all of this nonsense. Most of these undead creatures are pretty weak against uh, an armored fighter like ourselves. Crimson Imp, a bit more of a pain in the butt, but still not too much of a, a challenge at least. Perfect. Ooh, our first orc priest, and there are two of them along with some wizard friends. Not great, friend, not great. Might be coming down with a few smites right away, and in fact, there they are right away. Flame and smites. Don't love that. But we're just about out of sight here. How much do you deal with that again? 3d5. So it's like 12 or 15 damage for magic dart versus flame burst. Again, still early in the run, so don't mind risking it here. Oh, dang it. The priest came into sight. You son of a... But that's okay. This is why we do these risky plays early on, and we're just going to jump right back in. Same th thing. Unless, and of course, anyone in chat would like to see anything in particular. But I'm happy to run a few of these back-to-back, -back, try and get that Nemlex choice out of the way here. Let's try once more. Some good luck this time. One thing I should have done is immediately picked up this ring mail. That's probably a great idea. Try and get that AC a little more amped up this time around. If possible, early javelins is also nice to see. That definitely allows us to... Uh, I always want to say squishing, but it's not a, a real word at all. Even if it is, it's not a great word. I like to try and deal some preliminary damage to enemies. There we go, that's a, a be slightly better way to phrase that. Lighten the load on ourselves for the, the combat itself. Scarf of Invisibility, don't have to put that on right away, it's going to be a while before we're able to take any advantage of that. But we'll still pick it up in case we start training evocations a little bit earlier than we otherwise might. Invisibility is pretty solid in the early part of the game, to say the least. So I kind of miss when I could burn spell books as Trog and get some extra PD. Those were the days. Ooh, scale mail. Don't mind if I do. 
Throw that on right away, and we're already looking slightly better than our first try with the, the Formicid here. Was nice to get early willpower for sure, and I will probably regret not getting that again the second run, but at the end of the day, we'll still try our best to uh, get by here. Hmm. Let's let these buddies start filing in, and then I'm going to switch over to these early javelins we had. And just try and lay down some quick damage against these gnolls, especially that sphere one. I'd like to get out of the way as soon as possible. It's unfortunately not quite as lucky as I would have liked. So we'll come down here, split the fights up. This actually works out fantastic. I will... Hmm. I think take you upstairs. You deal six damage plus your club. Let's take you upstairs. Then we can... Pillar Dance. Went for one hit because we weren't one hit away from dead, but back to Pillar Dancing we go. And this is our life now. Forever and for always. Clubs are fairly low damage at the very least, low base damage, so we should be able to try and go for another hit pretty soon here, especially if Buddy wants to take a step away. We can use a Javelin. Awesome. We did Mulch it, of course. Of course, why wouldn't we? It's the only way that that could have possibly have gone. And let's switch our stairs and try and regain a bit of more experience before we get to that, uh, that kobold. Or not that kobold, rather, but that null with the sphere. Maybe able to take them out a bit more easily the second time around. Especially since we ideally won't have to go through a few fights in order to get to that point. Hello, my snacky friend. Perfect. Definitely going smoothly so far. Hello, Noel. There you are once more. Mm, it's not a halberd, Noel, but it's still a pain in the butt to say the very least. In order to retreat from you, it gets pretty tricky. In fact, we probably should start retreating now, but I'm not going to. Because, again, yeah, we're early on. We're going for speed here at the start, if just to uh, see if we can't make a decent amount of progress. Don't have a whole lot of time today, so I wouldn't mind getting to at least a decent spot in the run before we have to end. So, onwards we go. Definitely haven't been significantly unlucky in any of these runs, which is why it's kind of embarrassing that we've managed to uh, run them into the ground in such short order, but... This one's different. You can feel it. Nowhere to go but up at the very least. That's the nice part about having some bad runs. Everything's a positive from then on. Also, I guess I have to decide... Oh no, never mind. We're worshipping Trog. For a moment I was thinking that we'd have to decide who we're going to worship, but I forgot. We started as Berserker. It's right there in front of us. <laughs> That memory is getting worse and worse every day, apparently. The chainmail, I am happy to see. Upgrading through our armor ranks a little bit better this time around, and in fact, let's immediately go in and drop all of our old sets. No need to carry those buddies around. Also wanted to switch over to stones in my quiver here, just so that we're able to uh, take out a little bit of health from enemies in advance of them approaching us. Even just drawing attention. <laughs> From enemies can be nice. Hello, Sigmund. Hello again. Hmm. After how things went against just a single orc wizard when we were at a higher level than this in that previous run, it makes me slightly scared of Sigmund, even more so than I otherwise might be, which is already a lot. Former Sid Berserker might say that he's militant, or militant. Don't know how to pronounce that right in order to make the joke come across. It's great in written format and absolutely love it. <laughs> You'll be here all week. Perfect. It's exactly what we're looking for. Okie dokie. Well, just running away from Sigmund until, of course, we get confused and then immediately more confused. Love it. Fortunately, I'm the luckiest person alive, and so we're managing to still gain ground off of this buddy. In fact, did just fine until the confusion ran out. 
Please stop with the darts and the confusion. Our upstairs is way too far away and we're not very liable to make it there. But if I can just make it to these stairs... Dang it. That confuse is a pain in the butt. Do not, we'll be lucky. Let's head top right. Perfect. And no one will be waiting for us at the bottom of the stairs. Like I said, no problems whatsoever. And we'll even just start exploring this floor for a bit. Just because I feel like it, of course. Not because we have to or anything. Nothing to do with segment or anything. I'm not scared. No. But it looks nice down here. D4 is where we want to be right now. Poison, I guess. Yeah, we're not resistant to poison, so it is something I should be scared of. I thought so, but I wanted to confirm there. I d had totally forgotten that as a former said, we can see invisible, so that was kind of nice. As Sigmund was attempting their best to uh, get out of sight. You can pop back up these stairs that are unexplored. We know that it'll at least be a fairly decent way away from where we left Sigmund up to the top right of the map there. And I guess I appreciated your joke a lot, save it, but I didn't say hello and welcome back. Hope you're having a great day. Sorry for the lack of warm welcome. Perfect. Killing magic users early on is very nice. Show appreciation to our loving god here. And yeah, let's let the knoll close in on us. Simplifies things a bit. Do I want to switch to pole arms? Hmm. I think we're good for the time being. I'm interested in taking a bit more of a sword approach here. And let's keep it moving. Gotta be gotta be quick. Make sure that we get at least the clan side of Nemlek's choice. I don't mind too much the rest. Doing okay, rough time at work? I'm very sorry to hear it. Hopefully you're just about done work for the week, even though I know not everyone follows the same five-day work week. So that may or may not be the case, but hopefully your weekend is coming up soon, whenever that may be. You can take a little bit of a, a break from the, the stress of work and take it easy. Or maybe, just maybe, I can do my best here to try and take your mind off of it a little bit. But I don't know if we're going to have too many positive things happen to us if the start of today's stream has anything to say about it. I'm definitely not in the right headspace and I've already put many a character to the death. But we got time. We can figure our life out for sure before this poor Formicid meets the same fate. As long as I make it through the door here. Oh, never mind. You're going that way. Cool, cool. Go like this though. That works for me. One way or another, we're getting this centaur next to us, and hmm, I might pick up your bow. The other really nice thing about Formuses is it's one of the few characters that we can have an arbalist or a bow on and not have to worry about shields. So that's always a nice advantage to uh, to try and eke out throughout the course of the game. Because I so often completely ignore bows because shields are just too good in this game. Why would I ever want to use a bow? But with Formicid, we don't have to make that hard decision. Instead, maybe have a little bit of fun, do something a little bit different from our usual routine. So we'll see how we go in terms of our luck in either regard. I guess I could quickly check in on our skills here. Crossbows and bows. Okay, bows are negative two, not great, but crossbows. That's pretty good aptitude. Yeah, you appreciate it, but hey, positive thinking, you mean you're an eternal pessimist, so that's why you enjoy watching people with sunnier outlooks. I definitely can understand that. I seem to oscillate back and forth between extreme optimism and extreme pessimism, depending on the day and depending on uh, my mood. But for the most part, I definitely try to uh, put a good face forward and keep looking on the, the positive side of life, as it were. Hoping that, yeah, it's a, a little bit contagious for sure, happiness in general. So I'm always hoping that it'll rub off. And, right. It wasn't paying attention at all to the, the special notes there, but fortunately, not punished whatsoever. And the, uh, the ossuary is right next to us. Let's 
bring the party to us here and think this might be the one that releases monsters as we go. I guess it's still a little early to try and guess on what the uh, which ossuary we got. But we'll know pretty quick here. I haven't seen any messages about grinding noises or the like, but definitely could have missed them too. Moving pretty quickly here and using a lot of tab fighting. No, okay, it looks like, yeah, we're definitely in a bit more of the traditional vaulty ossuaries here. Oh, dang it. I was hoping not to attract more attention, but that's fine. I guess we can throw some rocks at you as you try to approach. Let's see, check out our inventory maybe, because I'd like to not kill this character off quite as quickly as we have the last few. No doubled up potions whatsoever, so we are looking at pretty low odds of beating our heals if we're starting to look for those in emergency. I don't think, oh, did my right click there instead of using XV? You don't actually do negative energy, no. 20 damage. Wow, so we got really lucky with a lot of these mummies early on. I'm surprised that they haven't taken us out already. I always thought the Formicid should be able to dig as the wand in addition to just shafting. Uh, they are able to, actually, are they not? Yeah, with the dig ability, you are able to, to dig your way through the walls and make your own little crafty corridors, which is really handy for sure. No evocables yet, right? We did just look through our inventory. Maybe I'll go for a scroll read early on. Oh, scroll blinking, right, that's useless. We have stasis. I got really excited there for a second. But of course, as a Formicid is when we get three scrolls of blinking. And there we go, there's the identify. So I'm gonna use that on a potion right away. <laughs> what, you're dumb? No, not at all. Formicids aren't exactly one of the more, well, or more often played characters. So I totally understand. Ooh, we could quaff that lignification if I'm worried about dying to this bad boy. So that was our last identify too. Nah, do you know what? We'll be fine. We'll be we'll be fine, I said. One way or another. You or I, mummy, one of us is dying here. It's gonna be you. Perfect. Yeah, no, Formicids aren't played as often, so I definitely don't expect everyone to have perfect understanding of their methods. I just know that on the one time that I got a Formicid win, I definitely found myself constantly shoveling my way into walls in order to try my very best to uh to preserve myself especially against a lot of like smite targeters and things like that it's so handy in the late game make your own corridors which is definitely generally the optimal uh, fighting arrangement in this game of course until you get to zot and you're no longer able to uh to bite your way through the walls they get a little tough down there of course I also, I should have been a bit quicker on using my shaft ability in that last one instead of letting ourselves die. I've already kind of forgotten how I let myself die. Seems to be a common trend for me, forgetting things after they become relevant. I try to learn from mistakes, but so often I'm just a complete idiot and forget what's going on. Wait a second. Okay, no, that is just sand. I thought for a while that I might have to dig in order to get into that little side vault, but of course that is not the case. Let's keep her going here. What I probably should actually do is quickly go into our items, and I should set this bow as B. And that way we can do some quick changes to that, and potentially take advantage or do slightly more damage to uh, faraway enemies as they approach. It's funny, I mentioned earlier that my brain keeps supplying the word squishin' when I talk about trying to deal early damage to enemies. And it's not the first time that on stream that that's all my brain is supplied, but it seems like I either remember the word that I actually want to use there, or it's nothing but squishin'. And it depends on the day, just goes one way or the other, and it's all my mind will supply when I reach into that part of the databanks or whatever. Human mind is a wacky thing, to say the least. Would be nice to get our first wand. How do I feel about fighting you with a spiked club? Not horrible. 
We can always shaft ourselves, too. Things go poorly. Step off the stairs in order to allow that to happen. Switch to our sword. It's getting close. Hmm. Oh, whoops. Not try and cast spells. Want to open my inventory. That's the one. Should have probably dropped those scrolls of blinking. Maybe even figured out what a few more of these are. We have these coppery potions and the amethyst potions. Both which came in large numbers from the ossuary, which means I'm guessing one is degeneration. As is usually the case. In fact, I don't think it was the amethyst ones. I think it was the vicious blue. Now that I think. Or viscous blue. <laughs> vicious. Viscous. No, that's vicious, right? Interesting way to describe that color. It makes me very scared of what may or may not be in that drink. But let's walk into the unknown a little bit here. If we start running into too many enemies, we can just zip our way down to the next floor with a shaft. But ideally, this ogre is going to remain one space away. I can just get the heck out of there. Perfect. It's very much what we were going for, and we can just move to a different stairs, play it a little bit safer. Maybe approach that buddy from a, a better angle at some point in the future here. Even if we can just be at slightly better experience values, that would be well and good in its own. Dang it. Ogre is back. Fortunately, we're making a decent amount of noise, so I'm guessing that ogre is going to be following us this way. Teleport trap was the ogre. That's hilarious. Okay. Well, took care of themselves. I'm, I worry, for sure, about where they might have ended up. But hopefully nowhere nearby. We'll be just fine and dandy. Perfect. Bunch of experience there right away. Any heavier armors? Doesn't look like it quite yet. Hello, Ufetibus. And let's just sidestep the ogre. You don't see me. Can't kill what you can't see. Perfect. Okay. As long as we keep practicing our avoidance techniques, using our antennas to our advantage. Normally antennas aren't my favorite mutation in the game, but hey. It allows us to avoid this son of a gun. Oh dang it. Immediately regret everything as I make some dumb mistakes in my steps, but never punished. Just as we make it to the stairs, we reopen that gap between us that we were looking for. I always fall victim to that, where I make a stupid step and an enemy just takes the little shortcut through the gap instead and cuts me off. My dumb brain just can't keep up with it sometimes, unless I'm actively looking for it and paying attention. It just goes right over my head. But let's use some of these um, Identify Potions, shall we? Get Healing right away, which is awesome. Potions of Haste, which are absolutely useless. What else do we have here? Potions of Might, that's better much more better and okay i guess these could be curing but i think they're degeneration oh they're curing oh so we got really lucky with that ossuary so often all i find in those bad boys are degeneration potions and let's see a crystal fustibalis this early on is interesting to say the least i was definitely hoping for a two-handed weapon somewhere in here hmm also, different soundtrack just randomly got switched over to here. I don't know why. Spotify's never done that to me before. It's not bad. How strange. Who gave you permission to do that sound app? After this song, I'm probably going to switch back to the usual just so that we don't switch over to something that may not be quite as DMCA friendly. But that Crystal Fuse of Valus interests me. Normally I would want to get into bows or crossbows, use something two-handed, take advantage of our formicid nature, but we'll use whatever is proffered to us. Let's see, still no wands. I must have left that one on the floor earlier. Hello, TBD. Hope your day is going well so far. I've definitely had some unfortunate luck at the start of the run here. Killed some, some great people, including our favorite messiah. But all is well. We are back in with the new Nemlex choice here, trying to uh, potentially get some points under our belt. 